Ladies and maidenless, tarnished of all ages, today we are going to go through a build on Elden Ring. Did it with two separate level 1 Vagabonds. Brought them through in less than 24 hours, slayed a god with two separate weapons. The Ash of War is the star, it's the Lion's Claw, uh, and the Blood Loss stack on it is awesome. So let's get into it. From Shrine Graveyard, head north with your Vagabond to get Torrent, the Invisible Horse. Go ahead and head into Gatefront Ruins to grab the um, Whetstone Blade to apply Ashes of War because you will use it before you have the Blood Loss one. So just normally, it's still a killer, especially with this Vihander Giant Megalith Claymore Blade. Does a ton of damage. And then the Flamberg is the second one you can slay a god with. And this one is more of a dexterity build. Um, quick attacks, opaline bubble tier, and the weeping peninsula dropped by Earth Tree Avatar is key, really helps. Uh, so I wanted to throw it in there. Not as key as the Blackstone Wet Blade in Nakron, naturally after defeating Radon, uh, stacks the blood loss, and that really, that and that Ash War steal the show. So to get the weapons, start at Strainer Graveyard, head south. Southeast and south into Weeping Peninsula. Here's the Earth Tree Avatar tree where you will find him. Defeat him, he will drop the Opaline Bubble Tear, which is awesome. Uh, Sacred Tears at these two churches. Crucial. Isolated Merchant here in the southwest part of Weeping Peninsula where you get the Zweihander. Really super OP. I mean, 3,500 runes. You want no troubles with a god with this Ash of War. Uh, well worth it. And then to get the Flamberg from Shrine Graveyard, you go to Third Church Marika, uh, north part of Mistwood Ruins, take the warp up to the Beast Clergyman, and then just head south. Um, this map, obviously, I've found everything. We're going to Radon's Castle, but I have one up that maybe you can match with yours if you're just starting. Third Church Marika, you get your wondrous Flask of Physique, Sacred Tear, and then hop into the back left kind of area. There's a pond in the warp. Grab the golden seed. Again, golden seed and sacred tears are crucial. And here's the grayed out map. So we're about halfway. I'm going to head south. So we keep going this way. Really emphasizing the southward motion here. Get the grace. Notice it is nighttime. These trebuchets murdered me on the bridge, so you're going to want to be careful. It is treacherous. The art, the atmosphere, the level design, it really is, I think, you know, going to be considered top game anyway. Round town, top right of Red Main Castle, you're going to go around to the right. Don't do that jump. I nearly died. Stay around town to the left, some bats, and another jump, where again nearly died. So, I uh, can't stress the, the treachery enough. Red main cows are going to roll down, keep going down, and turn right. Eventually come to these stairs, there'll be a bunch of flame boys there to your left. That's how you know you're in the right area. Up the steps, into the room at the ladder. Atop the ladder, treachery, imagine. Pumpkinhead's going to try to cave your skull in, avoid him, and you have the Flamberg. Here's the star of the show. Uh, Four Gale is where you're going to get this. That grace is a little south of it, or not south, north of it, I guess. you got to head south. Up there, you're going to have, uh, believe it or not, treachery as you go up there. Go around to the right. will be a ladder. Get rid of this guy. Jump attacks are going to be crucial in this one. You see my planning. Poor execution. And for that you get slashed by a, a lion. Just avoid him, roll back, wait for his attacks, jump and attack. You're going to have to just drain his lifeblood as it were with the game. And he's going to jump around, roll flashy attacks, but that's where dexterity comes in handy. So there we go. We nearly have everything we need. 
smithing stone bell bearings, the first one here at Ray Lucaria Crystal Tunnel, northeast part of Lernia, Lernia, there you go, uh, right there on the map. So, in the natural progression through, you can go to different caves to get them, but head east into the water and then south in the water to the next cave. Defeat the bosses at these caves and you get the smithing stone bell bearings for this progression. At that point, you should feel comfortable to take on Radon. We're going to see what this can, uh, this can do. So, talk to him, head through the church, lift was down, lift is up, and you're going to warp in there. 1101-1816 is the item number on this one. And the nice thing about these practice katanas... Oh! Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt big time. A piece of that just, the tip just got me, Odell. Oh, that got me good. You all right? A piece of that tip just got me. Oh, Folks, right now. We're going to get the blood loss stack with the Ash of War, the black uh, whetstone blade. You're going to head to Mistwood Ruins. Look into the sky. You're going to find comets and, and rocks are strewn after you kill Radon. And you're going to head down. There's a lot of drops here. Just keep dropping. Um, drops and rooftops. Flip down, get all the, the loot. There'll be runes, a strewn, enemies afoot, uh, and, and runes to mend. Rooftops, Leaning Tower of Pisa. I'm sure the person that designed that didn't expect it to be strewn like that for a tarnished. On your way, nothing more but stepping stones. And always roll away from the treachery. So we're in knock run now. Let's head in through the little hallway there. Larval tier to the right before the mimic tier. Obviously, if you you may know the cheese to put your weapon away, get in there, have them spawn. Makes it very easy. Now we're going across the bridge here after the mimic tier. Get through the arches. You're going to turn left and follow this path northwest until you see the singing lady veer left there may be some goats that's all right rooftop jump down go around jump down another rooftop um great level design little gimmicky but it's immersive so i mean look how immersive the entire area is this is where you get the whetstone black blade for the blood loss behind that coffin there. I didn't pick it up. Don't know why I don't have footage of it. Probably do somewhere. After your natural progression, from that point through the outer ring to Verpin grounds, you will get your smithing stone bell bearing three. Take the grand lift to Zamora ruins. There will be a fire on the ground indicating where uh, the underground chest lies. So you can just pick that up. Um, obviously different stories will be ended as you progress through, check certain quest lines, certain endings if you want it, and then this is late game, Dragon Temple, there is a duo there that you will face, uh, to get your last bow bearing. If you couldn't dance, what would you do? Mmm, so sad.
Cloud. So, main ladies and mainless tarnished, that was the build. Uh, I thought that the Zweihander with the blood loss was insanely powerful. That's an, that's an easy get through. Um, the Flamberg is a little more, more calls for more finesse. Um, anyway, please comment below if you've run this. If you're going to run this, you can check it out. Uh, stick around for a while. Check out some other videos while you're here. Hit a like, hit a subscribe. Uh, leave comments below what you thought. Uh, hope, you know, maybe someone found it helpful. Hope you guys enjoyed. There'll be more artwork. As always, support the uh, NFT collection. Go check it out. 101 different gift style crypto thieves run uh, different scams each one. Uh, different levels to it. More art to come. As always, thanks. We'll keep uh, pushing forward here in 2022. Take care. Ha 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 